So a few days ago, there was an article on CNBC that uh, the headline read, uh, credit card debt hits a record 1.14 trillion uh, New York Fed research shows, right? And then there was another article on CNBC that also read, the average consumer now carries $6,329 in credit card debt. People are stretched. And now there's an article uh, on bankrate.com. It says half of American cardholders now carry credit card debt, many with no plan to pay it off. And the reason why this is important because, I mean, we've been seeing this for a while, right? We, we, we've been seeing, um, especially when it comes to people's finances and using debt, people have first started tapping into their savings account, right? And once people's savings accounts started to, to get depleted, um, then people start going to credit cards. And then once they start to tap out on credit cards, then people go to buy now, pay later, all right? Or net, then once the buy now, pay later options, now they, what they start, they start tapping maybe to home equity, right? Maybe that's an option. And eventually it gets to a point where people are starting to tap out where they can't go anywhere else. And then what usually tends to happen, you tend to people say, you know what, I'm just not going to pay off my balance, right? I'm just not going to make any payments. And that's usually what happens, right? Then their credit, then they obviously, they, they send that to collections and, you know, and, and, and of course, you know, that, that messes up their credit. But these are the options that a lot of people are taking, right? That you're, you're exhausting all your options until it gets to a point where you eventually tap out. And now what's been holding a lot of this together, especially for, for, for some people, um, is that, you know, obviously they've had jobs. Right. Like you, if you have a job, then you can make the minimum payments on, you know, credit card debt or whatever debt that you have. But as we've been seeing lately that we've especially there was a report, I think maybe last week that unemployment rate is starting to go up. Right. More layoffs are starting to happen. And once that happens, as that increases, then, of course, if you don't have a job, then obviously you can't make the payments on these on this debt that you have. So you're going to see more and more people not able to make payments on the debt. OK, so it's interesting to see this bank rate, um, bank rate dot com survey where it says, you know, credit card holders are now that are carrying more debt with no plan on paying off that debt. And, you know, someone that's been in that position before and I would never recommend anyone do this. I've been in a position where I, I carry credit card debt and I just decided not to pay it. Right. I was back in 2016. But eventually, you know, was running my business. I made some money off it and I made sure to pay all, all of it up. But your credit card, your credit takes a hit. So I wouldn't recommend anyone do that. If you can make sure to pay off your debt or at least the minimum payment and then find a way to increase, you know, increase your income so you can eventually slowly pay off that debt. OK, so let's read this bank rate data, uh, bank rate dot com um, survey where they talk about where half American car credit card holders are now carrying more debt and they're not they not have no plan on paying it off. So it says what well, it says. All right. So the cost of carrying debt is, is, is high. Even so, more Americans, 50%, according to a new bank rate data survey, are carrying a balance today than they have been since March 2020. Uh, with interest rates at an all-time high, you might wonder why credit card uh, cardholders are carrying the balance. Okay? And then you go, you go down. It says, all right, so Americans... Um, so it says... Economic factors like inflation and interest rates are making it hard for some Americans to make ends meet. Survey data shows in some cases people might be doom spending or going into debt for fun. And I did do a, a video about this where a lot of people um, were using debt to finance their vacation. Right? So we already know about doom spending. People see the, the economy not doing so well. So they, they, they say, you know what, I'm just going to give up. I'm just going to spend money, enjoy my life because obviously, you know, everything is going, to, is going, is going bad. So I'm just going to actually spend money so I can enjoy the experience. So a lot of people are doing that. So it says some bank rates key uh, insights. says one half of American credit card holders carry a debt balance from month to month. That's 50% of card holders compared to 44% in January 2024 and 60% in March 2020. And that's the thing. You don't want to be carrying a balance month to month, right? You want to make sure if, you, if you're going to have any credit card, you want to make sure you're paying off your balance every month. And this is something that I do. I, I use my credit cards and then I make sure whatever that balance is, I pay that balance off so I'm not paying any interest on that debt. And of course, I'm not going to use the credit card if I don't have the money. Like if you don't have the money in your bank account, then you shouldn't be using the credit card at all. All right. You got to save that money. Don't pay interest on the credit card. It's one of the worst forms of debt because the interest rates are ridiculously high, especially now it's in the 20, it's in the 20 percent. So you don't want to be wasting that money. All right. So it says the likelihood of having credit card debt increases with age until the boomer generation. And it's also inflation and high interest rates are factors for many Americans. 34% of debtors say inflation uh, and 32% uh, say high interest rates may uh, have, have made their credit card debt burdens worse than uh, beginning of 2022. So it says, all right, the number of Americans with credit card debt is at a four year high. It says new bank rate data tells a story about Americans debt. more people are carrying uh, debt on their credit cards than they have since the early pandemic days. Uh, but that situation may or may not be by choice. 
50% of credit card uh, holders uh, carry debt from month to month. That's up 44% from January and is at its highest uh, figure bank rate at, uh, has observed since March 2020. All right, so credit card balance fell sharply in 2020 as Americans uh, spent less uh, during the pandemic and used stimulus funds to pay down debt. And of course, when you know during the pandemic, uh, obviously there was nowhere to go. Uh, the only thing people were doing was, was, was shopping online. So of course, there, that was an opportunity to spend less money and save um, and, and you know, actually increase your, your savings account. Uh, and, and, and a lot of people took, did that. Right, because what else are you gonna do? Like the only thing you could do was sit at home and then and probably shop online. So it gave up people opportunity to save the money. So it says he continues since the beginning of 2021. However, credit card balances have been off to the races. According to Federal Reserve data, Americans owe 45 percent more now on their credit cards than they did in early 2021, and their credit card delinquency delinquency rate is at its highest point since 20. 11 and that makes sense like once everybody was everything was shut down in 2020 and then as things opened up people were like all right you know what i'm going to spend money because we've been locked down for so long so i'm just going to uh you know all that time i was in my inside my house i'm going to take them the time to enjoy and and spend spend like a like a drunken sailor right and obviously you want to make sure you're responsible with your money but a lot of people are just seeing this as an opportunity to break free and enjoy life so and of course you know at what people are going to do is like once you give people freedom to do that, they're going to, they're, people are going to spend money, okay? And of course, eventually, like everything is 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 at, at that time is is you know you're, you're seeing this as an opportunity to break free and, and enjoy yourself. But of course, as you see, as things got worse and inflation happened, you see people struggling, living paycheck to paycheck. Debt is increasing, and people are paying for um, the, the that 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 consequence of spending um, spending recklessly. So it says what? No generation is free from the debt burden, uh, but the likelihood of carrying credit card debt does rise with, with age from dropping with boomer generation. 42, 42% of Gen Zers, 53% of millennials, 60% of Gen Zers, and 48% of boomers with credit card uh, carry a balance. I, I, would think, I would think as you get older, you know, debt would go down because obviously, you know, you, you, as you mature with age, you start to understand it better. You become more responsible with your money. As you get older, debt would decrease, but... According to this uh, survey, that's not the case. Like debt is increasing um, um, based on age, and until the boomer age, where debt um, drops off. So that's that's just interesting to see. So it has perhaps uh, unsurprisingly, unsurprisingly, the likelihood of carrying a balance falls as income increases. Uh, Fifty-eight percent of cardholders with annual household incomes under fifty thousand carry a balance from month to month, compared to fifty-four percent uh, with annual household incomes from between fifty thousand. So basically, the more money, the more money people make, the debt, uh, the more, the less debt that they have. So, I mean, you can see a graph right here. So it says, well, it says American credit card debt in 2024. So down here it says, well, it ha um, who has at least one credit card which carries a balance month to month? 50%. And this one is as have at least one credit card and currently pay my bills uh, in full to avoid interest. So it's ba basically it's 50-50. And if you look at debt by generation, um, as the generations get older, debt increases until you know, it hits boomer age and then it drops off. And it says the debt by income, as people make more money, debt um, drops off. So, all right, so it says credit card debt is persistent with uh, three, and a half, uh, three and five Americans carrying it for more than a year. So 60% of Americans are carrying debt for more than a year. Right? That's a lot of people. All right, so it says the length of time credit, uh, cardholders are carrying debt may be assigned. Balances have become more difficult uh, to pay off. Three in five of those uh, with credit card debt, 60% has been, has been, have been have been in credit card debt for at least a year, up from 50% in 2021. All right, so, so, so it said the likelihood of carrying debt for at least a year gets higher as you get older, but stays relatively consistent with income. Here's how many credit card uh, de debtors have carried uh, debt for more than a year. Uh, so it goes by the generation and says uh, there are more debtors have carried debt for a year, more income, blah, blah. And it shows this. So it says, we asked approximately how long have you been carrying, um, carrying a balance of your credit cards? Less than six months. So it's pretty much, you know, even across board, 15, 60 percent. So um, depending on how long, I mean, it's pretty varies depending on um, percentages. All right. So it says what debtors blame inflation and interest rates for making their debt burden worse. All right. So it says the survey data shows that Americans feel uh, the economy isn't helping their situation. About a third, 34 percent of credit card hold uh, debtors say inflation has made their credit card debtors uh, debt burdens worse since the beginning of 22, which is when the Fed started raising interest rate. Now, I'll say this. I kind of disagree with that. Even before this. Right. People are probably struggling with with uh, with debt, um, living paycheck to paycheck. And what inflation has already done, it just accelerated that. 
right? If you were already, even before um, you know, interest rates went up and inflation occurred, you know, people were probably struggling, not as bad, but people were struggling with debt, right? They had debt um, and, you know, they were living, you know, they weren't probably living so much paycheck to paycheck, but they had, they were still dealing with debt. But what inflation did is what, um, it, whatever spending habit that you had before inflation, right? And the fact that inflation made everything more expensive, you, you still carry that same spending habit during inflation. All it did was accelerate um, the, the, your, your, your struggle when it comes to how you're managing your money. Right, because everything that you were buying before then got more expensive, and you just kept those sp same spending habits. It just made everything. It just accelerated uh, those bad spending habits, and and it just and it and it, and it, and it caused people to live uh, paycheck to paycheck. Even even it just made it more worse off. Okay, so a similar so a similar share. Thirty two percent say high interest rates have made their credit card debt burdens worse since the beginning of twenty two. These uh, themes intertwine. So high inflation and high interest rates uh, have eroded American savings, and more people are carrying more debt. For longer periods of time. So if you think, blah, blah, I don't care about that. It says, well, if you think, let me see, if you think, uh, so, no. so it says, all right, so roughly one in four Americans uh, with credit card debt, 24% feel less confident in their ability to get out of credit card debt now than they did at the beginning of 2022. Furthermore, about one in six, you know, 17% worry they might not be able to make their minimum credit card payments at some point uh, in the next six months. So look at, ask someone that who, who's had credit card debt before. It is definitely possible, but you really have to be disciplined and committed to, to wanting to do it, okay? And you have to be, obviously, the, you should, if, you, if, you're, if, you're, if you're struggling with credit card debt, then you, the main thing you want to do is create a budget because you have to see what's in front of you. You have to see where your money's going, where, where it's going, where it's, um, where, what's coming in, what's going out. You have to see it in front of you. And then once you've done that, you can then start making cuts, right? Cutting the things that you don't, that you don't need, right? Remember, you have your wants and your needs. Okay. Make sure your needs are met. Make sure they're taken care of and to get rid of your wants. Whatever. When you're looking at that budget, looking at that spreadsheet, remove the things that you don't need. And if you've gotten to a point where you've removed everything you don't need, then you get to a point where you say, okay, maybe I need to increase my income. Right. Maybe I need to get a second job. Maybe I need to get a high side, a side hustle. Right. Any, any way uh, or second job, whatever you need to do to increase the income. So then you can start get out of the paycheck to paycheck and start saving more and having more disposable income to, to start paying down that debt. Right, so it is possible, but you really have to be disciplined. And I know, and I know it can feel like um, a, a big hill to climb, but it's definitely possible. Okay, but you have to you have to make a commitment to do it, and you're gonna have to be very disciplined. Right, you're not gonna be able to go on vacations. You're not gonna be able to buy certain things. You're not gonna be going out drinking, uh, eating out in restaurants, hanging out with friends. You gotta stay committed. I know it doesn't sound like the 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 it doesn't sound all that fun, but it's something you have to do if you if you if you expect to get out of this debt. Right. I've been on, like I've had thirty thirty thousand dollars credit card debt twice in my life, and I've been able to get out of it twice. And now I don't even that that my spending habits, my the way I manage my money is much better than I did before. Right, credit score is an eight hundred. So I've I've got to a point where it got you got to get to a point where you say you know what I, you can't keep doing this. This is not working. Whatever I'm doing with my money is not working. I have to get to a point where I've learned and I understand how to manage my money better. And that's what it takes. It's just developing a, a, a good habits. Right, because right now. If you're someone that's struggling with your with your money, you're in debt, it's because you have poor financial habits, right? I know a lot of people like to blame inflation for that, but it's because you have poor financial habits. You don't, you don't, and, and it's okay, right? It's just, it's, it's a literacy problem. Like a lot of people, for a lot of us, we just, we have poor financial literacy and it's just more so just about educating ourselves and developing better habits when it comes to how we manage our money, all right? So yeah, so those are my thoughts. I'm uh, interested to hear your thoughts. Make sure to leave a comment down below, hit the like button, share, uh, and if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe, all right? So you guys take care and have a good one. Later.